you've had a busy day today. <laughs> Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I'm going to talk about what we did today. So today I'll just give you an update on what's been going on and what happened today. Let's see, the first thing I did this morning was uh, like I always do. I had to do the hummingbirds. That takes me an hour in the morning. Go through all the feeders. I take them in, I scrub them, clean them, and refill them all. So I did that this morning. And then we went to the vet. Zoe got her last shot. So she's good for now. Everything is good to go. And after he gave her the shot, we weighed her. Oh my gosh. Two pounds, two ounces, they said. 2.2 pounds. So she's going to be a lot smaller than we, what we thought. I mean, we were told mom was what, about five, six pounds and dad is about four to five pounds and they had figured that she was going to be, well, they told me six pounds. I don't know if she'll make six pounds, but the way they usually calculate it is you take them at 12 weeks old and you times it by two and that's usually their adult weight unless they get big, you know, bulk up a little more, you know, like maybe overeating and stuff. So I'm, I'm estimating right now, we're looking at about four and a half, five pounds. I actually wanted her bigger, but it doesn't matter. Whatever she is, she is. Just because I worry about hawks and different things. But that was it. And then, so after we left the vet, I went to the thrift store and I was looking for a bowl. And I found what I was looking for. This thing today cost me about $4 because they had a sale today. This one is... Anchor, that's the company. It's very similar to Pyrex or Corningware. And I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I'm gonna put a, a bird bath together that anybody can do. It, you don't have to do anything, no cutting, no pipes, no nothing. And I wanna explain a whole, a lot on that because there's a lot of um, questions on birds not coming to bird baths and I've got a lot of ideas and thoughts on that. So we'll do that another day. What else was going on? Oh, that's right. Then Zoe and I stopped at the nursery. No grocery store today. I didn't need anything. I've got plenty of stuff. And so we went to the nursery and uh, I didn't see anything I liked, but I'm going to walk you through and give you my thoughts on that because I was so surprised that I am going to start a whole lot more plants. But what's good is you'll see what we can grow here in Southern California and maybe in some of your states and zones, we're in 10A, there might be things you can still grow this time of the year until the snow comes in. So let's drop that in and I'll show you and give you my thoughts and ideas on that. So I thought I would stop and see if there was anything I could use. And the first thing I looked at was the vegetable plants they have. Lots of different type of lettuce and then a lot of different types of kale all different types and then onions they've got but i have not seen the price that high before 7.99 for a six pack i mean it was nice to see they look really good but that's a lot of money for me right now so i passed on that and yes i carried her around in my pocket she fits on that big pocket i mean that shirt that has a big pocket that's actually a baby blanket that was sewn on it works really good to hold my cell phone and keys and everything too so i kind of looked through them all but the prices are really high, but this will give you an idea if you're in Southern California or your zone, whether it's 10 or nine, we're in 10A, what you can grow right now, because they're real good on bringing in vegetables and plants that you can grow this time of the year in the fall. The thing is, our weather's been really different. I mean, it's been cloudy and rainy off and on, even today, 60 degrees at night and cooler and rainy in the morning or really overcast. So what I'm going to do is just walk through. You can look because I didn't see anything today, but it was worth looking. Look at the beautiful plants, different salvias. That's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, she was interested too. She was looking at the kids and different people running around. Look at that Mexican feather grass. I'm not ready for anything like that. I wanted to pick up some flowers, but I think I'm going to propagate more of my hummingbirds lunch. Now, this is a kufia, but... I, it wasn't anything that I was crazy about to buy for hummingbirds. Now, salvias are nice. So I figured I'd just kind of look through. See, I love the way the salvia plants grow. The purple flowers, are they beautiful? 
but and she's fascinating too. She loves going out. Oh my gosh, she she's not crate trained as far as in the house. That's not happening. But going out in the car, she loves it. She means we're going for a ride, and she sits in my pocket. Aren't those purple flowers gorgeous? But they were like six dollars, I think it is, and wasn't crazy about them. She kept smelling the flowers as I was looking at them. She'd lean over and smell them. So I thought I'd give you kind of an overlook of what's going on here. Now, I may try the big box stores another day looking for flowers, but here's the thing. A lot of your larger stores, they bring in anything, even things that cannot grow right now in, let's say, fall. They'll just bring it in. They'll have all kinds of vegetable plants, squash and zucchini and everything. It's not going to grow this time of the year. So I don't know. But with them, if you go to a really good nursery, they tend to bring in what you can grow. And that's why sometimes going to a nursery is kind of more beneficial than going to a big box store. Do your research before you buy anything. Yeah, very low, I would say, on um, product as far as plants. That's lavender back there. I took her out of the pocket now so she could see better. I mean, they're okay. They might have cut some of them back. They may be having issues as far as the weather as well. Being so cool, some of these plants may not be doing that well. But the flowers are pretty. I thought I'd let you see an oversight of what they've got. And if you can catch the prices, I tried to go slow, but you know, it's kind of difficult sometimes when I'm walking through to see how well the camera's doing, especially in the bright sunlight. We do have sun clouds, but we did have sun. That was really nice. I've got one of those large containers, but they're pricey, so not what I was looking for today. I actually was hoping to find some different types of salvias. But I didn't find anything today that I'm going to buy. They have peppers. You can grow peppers if they're a good size. You might be able to trick them a little bit. I'm tricking mine, but I'm not going to buy any right now. Look at the flowers and look at the leaves. Look how beautiful some of the plants are. Just the leaves alone, so gorgeous. And here they've got strawberries. Now usually, seascape does better here for this time of the year because they grow pretty much anywhere between like 35 degrees to 85 degrees, but they didn't have that variety. So I wasn't sure what variety that was. Now, as far as watermelon plants, you can see those are older plants. It's too late. They really need warm nights as well as warm days, but They've got them there if somebody wanted to put them in a greenhouse, maybe. And there was eggplant. Now, that may do good. I've had eggplant here grow in the winter, but still about $5 a plant. And I have eggplant growing, so I don't need any. And then different milkweed. I know a lot of people are looking for milkweed for the monarchs. We still have caterpillars on our milkweed, and I'm just kind of letting them do their thing. That's pretty much what they had i just wanted to do a good walk through and see what they've got in what they had left and what the prices were and i didn't see any flowers today that was screaming my name by me by me because sometimes i have i've gone in there and bought a whole bunch of flowers but didn't see anything today leftover herbs they have a lot of herbs there i did get my original lemon verbena from them they were half price it was in the winter See, the herbs and the lemon, lemon verbena are like $6. I got them, I think it was half price, a couple of years, quite a few years ago. Now I've got them all over. You can propagate from them. Gary's got one, and I've got, I believe, four in my garden. Look at that hummingbird. That's nice. That's pretty. It's made out of metal. So nothing that I can see. Those flowers were beautiful. I did see hummingbirds zipping around. They were checking the flowers out, and that's a pretty good place for hummingbirds to go feed when they have to. I just hope that nothing is sprayed or treated. I don't think anything here is, but sometimes it comes from the nurseries that way. So this is what's going on in a small-time nursery in town. And then I walked over here to see what they had on the front rack. These are newer plants. And as nice as they are, I really think they could be nicer. And I think a lot of these plants are struggling due to our weather here in Southern California. We're in the fall and we should be like 80, 90 degrees and we are not. I actually have been putting on long sleeves. So we've been on the cooler side. 
Even today, it's been going up and down. One minute it's sunny, and the next minute it's kind of cool. So nothing really that kind of grabbed me. But it is good to know that they're getting in vegetable plants if you want. Now, this is where I saw the hummingbird buzzing around. And somebody must have put that on a cart. They're going to buy it. They're pretty. They look a little sparse to me for a nursery, but they are pretty and, you know, good treatment. They'll make a comeback. But it was, you know, enough for us walking around, and we just headed home after that. So that's it for today. You know, now I'm going to go do my regular stuff around here, my gardening and all that. I'm really excited at the thrift store to pick up the bowls, some paint brushes, and even this hat. I think this was pretty good for $4. It's stiff. It's a little tight. I was concerned on that. Company said it's been around since 1920-something. But um, I like that it's tight because now look it doesn't come off and sometimes the wind catches it so this is another hat i like collecting hats i'm not collecting hats hold on i don't want everybody sending me hats or anything um what i'm doing is i'm trying to force myself into wearing hats i have a habit of working out in the garden without any sun protection so i figured if i have enough hats they'll be lying everywhere and i'll remember to pick it up because it is important to protect yourself from the sun so that's been our day, and I found it fascinating on the vegetables, plants being so expensive. Can you imagine a six-pack for that much money? I can't. I remember when they used to be like two and three dollars. So anyways, that's it. So I'll kind of keep you up to date on Zoe as she gets older. She's off from running down the deck, and I'm going to go back and do that. I'm going to continue to propagate now a lot of plants. Because even, as you can see back there, my firecracker plant, I propagated that. That didn't cost me a thing. I actually found the little piece at, I think it was Home Depot, it was kind of laying there, a little piece. And so um, I took that, I put it in another, I put it in a plant I was buying, I showed them. And they said, yeah, it was just something on the ground. And look at, I've got a big, beautiful plant. And I know you can propagate those and you can uh, propagate the hummingbird lunch and salvias. So I'm gonna get a lot more growing propagating because plant prices are just so high these days so with that have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow and grow something so you get some good enzymes and nutrients in your body that's something you grew even on the windowsill you can grow a lot of stuff on the window so I'm growing mushroom plant do you want to say goodbye come here Zoe no you don't want to say goodbye no she says I'm too busy chasing flies that's her big pastime she sees a fly and she'll leap at it she hasn't caught any but it's entertaining oh a new hat you noticed everything i've noticed everything anything different you've noticed it say goodbye